They made the headlines not just last year when they were charged with corruption, but also this year with the twists and turns in their closely watched trials. First off, former narcotics chief Mr. Ng Boon Gye was acquitted in February. In early June, the former law professor in the Sex for Greats case, Tae Soon Hang, was sent to jail for five months. A week later, ex-SEDF chief Peter Lim joined him. While these were ongoing, the trial of the six leaders of the City Harvest Church, accused of misusing millions of church funds, also started. The first day of the highly anticipated case drew supporters here from as early as the night before. And it's anybody's guess if the queue comes back when the trial resumes. But one thing's for sure, the trial is a long-drawn one and is expected to last until the end of September 2014. Other cases that await us next year, the Coven double murder. In July, Iskandar Ramat, a 34-year-old police officer, was charged with the murder of a father and son at Hillside Drive, this after he was arrested in Johor Bahru. In the same month, an assistant director of the Corrupt Practices Investigation Bureau was accused of committing 21 offences, including forgery. 39-year-old Edwin Yeo allegedly misappropriated more than $1.7 million. Joining him is the former chief of protocol at the Foreign Affairs Ministry, Lim Cheng Ho. The 60-year-old was charged in October with 60 counts of cheating over pineapple tarts and bottles of wine totaling almost $89,000. Also to be heard in January will be the case involving 35-year-old James Raja Rokyasami, alleged to be the messiah. Said to be the man behind a spate of hacking incidents, James Raj was charged in court last month with altering the contents on Ang Mo Kyo Town Council's website. In late November, 42-year-old Delson Mu and 17-year-old Melvin Teo were also accused of hacking into the Istana website. About a week later, two brothers were also charged with hacking offences. 27-year-old Muhammad Azar Tahir faces 10 counts, including allegedly modifying contents of the Prime Minister's office website. His younger brother, 21-year-old Muhammad Ashik Tahir, faces six charges under the Computer Misuse and Cybersecurity Act. And who can forget the violence that broke out on 8th December, starting after a fatal bus accident involving 33-year-old Indian national Saktival Kumara Velu. 35 men were initially charged in court for their involvement in the Little India riot. Ten of them were later released after the prosecution withdrew their charges. Life is full of trials and 2014 certainly looks like it might be one of the busiest years for the courts.